Thanks to everyone who have subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Killings in Nigeria. Trump, Pope Francis, told to call Buhari to order. The right, the Human Rights Association of Nigeria, H-U-R-I-W-A, has voted to petition the vertical city of Rome, President of the United States of America, and the White House, to ask the two global leaders to compare the Kaduna State Governor Malam Erufai and President Muhammadu Buhari to stop the saga and systematic genocide killings of Christians in the Christian-dominated heartland of Southern Kaduna State. In a media statement issued to Daily Post on Tuesday and jointly signed by the National Coordinator Commander Emmanuel Onubike, and the National Media Affairs Director, Ms. Zainab Yusuf, said that H-U-R-O-I-W-H has decided to call the attention of Pope Francis and President Donald Trump concerning the spat and well-coordinated armed invasion of churches and Christian dormitories by suspected armed Islamic bound, which have made Kaduna State an epic center for their extensive coordinated attack against Christians. The right group said it has told the world leaders that both the Kaduna State Political Authority and the Presidency of Nigeria are treating with levity the gravity threatened of the extinction of genocide of Christians in the affected area, Kaduna State. The right group also stated that the gross disrespect for federal character principle in Kaduna State which cumulates in the emergence of governor, deputy governor, and state house of assembly speaker of Kaduna, who are all Muslims, thereby signing the, signing the lives of millions to the position of second-class citizen in the, in the state, and the killing of Christians by headsmen, kidnapping, and destruction of life and property. The group added that on the last count, Vert vertically all major Christians dominated area in Kaduna have been witnessed dozens of attacks, such as pastors has been killed and many more targeted, invaded, kidnapped, and brought into life of intolerable attacks. We are constantly asking the, politi the politicians of Kaduna State to respect Section 14, Subsection 3 of the Constitution, which obligates the appointment of all ethnicity community members into strategic office. But in 2019 election, the governor made sure only Muslims are, road, are railroaded into the office of governors, deputies, and even the office of speaker of the Kaduna House of Assembly in cooperation of the Muslim Coordination so center. This is the fear that has ignited widespread mistreatment of Christians. People, this is what is going on now in Kaduna State. In 2019, after the election, every single person in political state, political position, are now Muslims. And is a systematic attack and gradual wiping out of Christians in Kaduna um, South. And everybody is just keeping quiet to it. The presidency, the governors, everyone is just keeping quiet as though nothing is happening. We hear of this attack every day. It's as if nothing is happening and everyone is keeping quiet. We need to speak about evil that is being perpetrated in our country. We need to speak about this. For the first time since the killing and genocide of Christians in the northern part of Nigeria, when United States of America put Nigeria on the watch list, was the first time President Muhammad Buhari started speaking and saying um, we should not allow ethnicity, religion to divide us in Nigeria. Has he ever spoken on the destruction of life and property, especially in the north? No, not for once. But we all saw what happened when his son had an accident on a motorbike that he went on his own, his own uh, um, pleasure. How he left every other assignment and ran and to make sure to see to it or what is going on to the life of his son. Well, does it mean that 
your children are the only Nigerians. You are supposed to be, when you took your oath of office, you sworn to protect the lives of Nigerians, lives and property. But it's clear that you are only particular to some area and groups in Nigeria. You mostly stand for Muslims, which is a clear indication of who you really are. I want to hear what your thoughts are concerning this matter. In Kaduna State, all those in the House of Assembly, representative, the governor, deputy governor, are all Muslims. So nobody is speaking about this evil that is being perpetrated, especially in the southern part of Kaduna. The systematic wiping out of Christians. They've killed a lot of um, pastors, a lot of ministers of the gospel, and they have also, you know, kidnapping, raping, what have you. Just name it. And nobody is speaking out, nobody is saying anything. Please, we want this news to travel far. We want the nations of the world. We want to lend a voice out to what this group is doing, speaking against. And thank God they've sent a petition and they've made an appeal to Pope Francis and to um, the, uh, Donald Trump to come at, for people to come and see what is going on in Nigeria. Probably this will bring Nigeria into check. But by the time the world knows that Nigerians are not treated fairly, rightly, and, and, and as, as one Nigerian, one Nigeria that uh, they, they say we are. I want us to speak against this evil. One of the ways we can do that is by you and I subscribing, clicking on the notification button, uh, like, share, and make sure that this news travel far. Because what it does is that the, the internet is a global village. The whole world, you can never tell where this news is being listened to around the world. And it travels gradually. It will be picked up and somebody will say what is going on in Nigeria. Let's go and investigate. And then our government can be put in check and in order. The, 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 the world leaders can even, you know, is even in their power by the time they see this genocide that is going on to even come and put in place, you know, to come and, you know, come and probe Nigeria or even check what is really going on here. Please, Nigerians, let's speak up. Let's not keep quiet. Let's not keep quiet. Because when they, if we allow them and, we, and they keep quiet and we keep quiet, when they finish with Kaduna, they will spread to other parts of Nigeria. We don't want that. That's why we must speak against this evil. At App Online Media, we condemn evil practices and evil in Nigeria. We commend good ones and encourage them to do more. So people, please, let's speak against this evil. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, share, and click on the notification button so that you can get all our latest news. And this news can travel far. I want to appreciate you all for listening. Thank you very much. And do have a lovely day. God bless. Bye.